Are you pregnant and worried about the coronavirus? If so, I feel you. And it's why I wanted to make a video kind of detailing the current information that we have available to shed some light on possible outcomes and to hopefully ease your mind just a bit. Coming up. Welcome back to the Kids OT Help channel. If you happen to be new here, my name's Nicole. I'm a mommy, I'm a pediatric occupational therapist, as well as a certified lactation counselor. And this channel is geared to help make motherhood a little bit easier on you by sharing some of my education, tips, tricks, strategies, all the rest. So if that sounds like something you're into, please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. Now, before we jump into today's video, I just wanna let you know that I have a really great resource for my mamas, new mamas, or mamas-to-be. It is the first month survival guide, and I'm gonna link that in the description box below. It's gonna tell you, you know, what stool colors to look for when you have a newborn baby because that transitions quickly or how small your baby's stomach is when they're first born and so how much they're likely to consume in the first days, weeks, and then months. So it's just a really great resource. If you're a first time mama, uh, you can get that for free by clicking the link in the description box below. So before we jump into the information, I just wanted to take a minute to remind you that as a mama-to-be, it's super important that you do what you can to minimize stress as we know this can have negative implications on yourself and your growing little one. While of course we wanna be informed, we also have to do our part to sort of limit the amount of sensationalism that often takes place when these sorts of outbreaks occur. Even still, if you're pregnant, there are likely a few burning questions that you would love to have answered, such as, am I more likely to contract this virus being pregnant? And what happens if I do happen to contract this virus while pregnant. So some great news here because according to the World Health Organization's most recent report, pregnant women as opposed to, let's say the flu, H1N1 virus, are not more likely to contract this virus. So that's really great and you can kind of take a breath and say, but you might be wondering, but doesn't pregnancy put us in an immunocompromised state? So while pregnancy is technically a condition in which women are immunocompromised, it's important to note that this is really different than say someone who has cancer and is receiving treatment or someone else who may have a rare condition such as myasthenia gravis. Unless you have underlying health concerns, it's not something at the moment that information indicates we need to be concerned about. And the course of this virus has definitely shown us that the elderly population or those with other serious underlying health concerns such as diabetes, hypertension, or cardiac complications are at a pretty high risk. Your next likely burning question is, what happens if I contract the virus and I'm pregnant? So again, the information is very limited at this point in time. However, there have been at least 21 detailed cases reported of pregnant women who were infected in China. So this information that I'm about to report actually comes from a study study from The Lancet, which was published in late January. So I'm just gonna read some of the information that I've got. So there were nine pregnant women who were reportedly admitted to a hospital in China, and they presented with various symptoms. Some had fever, some had a sore throat, some had general discomfort. None of those pregnant nine women developed severe coronavirus symptoms like pneumonia, and none of them died. And this information is the most current information I have at the time of recording. So all nine pregnant women's babies were born relatively healthy, they tested negative for the coronavirus, and the women's breast milk samples were also tested and that came back negative as well. If you're wondering if babies are more vulnerable to contracting the coronavirus, we have some preliminary information, very small again, but I just wanna share this with you because again, as a mama, it really helps put our mind at ease when this information is shared. So at the time I'm recording this, the information I have on hand shows that there have been 31,000 cases reviewed in China of people being infected with the coronavirus. Of those 31,000 cases that have been reviewed, only nine, only nine of those cases have been 
babies. So the nine babies who contracted the virus were ages one month to 11 months old. And the information showed that a couple of those nine infants were asymptomatic, meaning they weren't showing any symptoms whatsoever. And the other kiddos had very mild cold-like symptoms and all nine recovered fully. To me, what's so interesting about this is the nine babies who ended up with coronavirus had at least one infected family member. So obviously this baby was exposed on a regular basis. And I just think it's so amazing to see that these babies had very minimal symptoms and were able to recover fully and quickly too. But again, I just wanna stress that there's very little data, but the data that we do have is really comforting uh, to pregnant women, to new mamas, mamas with toddlers. Uh, it's important to spread this information because we don't hear about this and we hear a lot about what can go wrong and what is going wrong, but it's really important to share all of the information so that way we can have a full picture and understand what's happening to decrease hysteria and so people can go to the store and buy hand sanitizer and toilet paper and water. And not that I have to tell you this because I know this community is amazing, but prevention tips, of course, is washing your hands thoroughly at least 20 seconds and avoid touching your face because it's something we all do unconsciously. So if we're constantly washing our hands, at least if we're gonna touch our face, we have clean hands. Avoid sick people and stay home if you're sick. Please and thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, concern, drop them in the comment section below and be sure to grab the free resource, the first month survival guide for my new mamas who are interested in getting some quality information. And I will catch you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.